How's it going YouTube? Tenerita here today. We're going to be talking about some more in this Dragon Discourse. Uh, some more Dragon Ball. So, before we go ahead and get into it, I just want to say... These are the sales of DBS and Boruto. We're going to look at those later just to get a little bit of a comparison. Uh, whenever we get to the sales figures. But first, let's go ahead and look at some of these uh, figures that we've got here. So we're going to do a quick zoom in here just to show you what we're looking at. So what you're seeing here is the new Trunks and Mecha Frieza statue. Um, so if you're not seeing this, it says Figure Arts, Zero Releases, Extra Battle, Super Saiyan Trunks. Uh, the quote is, you're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. Uh, so again, they're coming out with these amazing Future Trunks statues. And this one just knocks it out of the park. Uh, freaking gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous, man. Uh, so this iconic scene of Super Saiyan Trunks slicing Mecha Frieza clean in two from Dragon Ball Z Cell Saga has been recreated as a stunning 3D figure. Yes, it has. It looks stunning. Absolutely phenomenal. You get these different views, different angles here. Freaking amazing. Can I get it? Can I get it even more of a zoom in? This is as far as I can go, but wow. Amazing. Uh, the designers also use transparent materials from the slash effect from Trunks' sword and the smoke billowing from Mecha Freeze's body to make sure the scene looks its best. No matter what angle you're looking at, you're looking at this figure from, sorry about that, no matter what angle you're looking at this figure from, it'll look awesome every time, which is exactly what you want. Exactly what you want. And then we can go ahead and look here. We have the Android 21 uh, lab coat figure arts and uh, first form cell. So we're going to get a little bit of a sneak peek here. This is going to be a really in-depth look at this Android 21 figure arts figure. Because you know it looks pretty cool. All right, uh, 150 should do this. Okay, uh, with that premiere of superheroes set for June 11, the world of Dragon Ball is getting more and more fired up. Yes, hype season. Amidst the hype are two super popular figures, SH Figure Arts Android 21, um, available for pre-order on the Tamashi Web Store, and the highly anticipated SH Figure Arts First Form Cell, available for pre-order at, partici at participating locations in Japan, which will be introducing hot off their photo shoot in this article. Um, so we're going to take a look at the Android 21, of course it's SH Figure so it looks really good. Um, so 21 was announced as a DLC fighter for Dragon Ball Fighter Z uh, during the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2022, a two-day world uh, worldwide simultaneous online streaming event. Um, so uh, take a look here, make sure Figure Arts made sure to create a figure with enough detail, posability, and swappable parts for fans to recreate them all. So they're pretty much just saying, you know, it's just a hype time. Uh, the figure comes with four different swappable facial expression parts that can be used to recreate her mannerisms in the game. Uh, in addition to her regular expression that comes pre-attached, she also has gnarling, yelling, tooth clenching, and smirking expression parts. And yes, yes, this looks amazing, bro. Can we get a good look at these images in another tap? Yes, dude. Look how good this looks. The detail. Holy crap. It looks great. Amazing. Can we get another look? Oh, and her glasses come off too. That's awesome. Let's uh get another look at that with her glasses off. She looks great. This is great. This is f great. <laughs> and I still haven't played Fighter Z. I've, I've really got to I really got to play it. I keep putting it off. Uh, let's go ahead and get another look at this figure, but with this freaking great it looks awesome okay um uh let's see this here the left and right shirt tails of her lab coat are also partitioned separately making it possible to position them individually so you can kind of change the way her coat lays so that's pretty cool look at the posing possible with her holy crap i mean this is sh figure arts so you you got some posing but the lab coat and everything um, so yeah, you can even make it look like she's about to fire off an attack. And you got the cross arm pose. And, uh, of course you have the, um, Majin Android 21 from June 2019. Uh, that's what they look like side by side. Really cool stuff. Really cool. And, uh, yeah, so that's the Android 21. And now, let's take a look at the cell here. 
not link. I'm going to open image. This cell looks great as well. A lot of detail. A lot of detail. So the first form cell looks really good. They got all the black splotches down pretty good. Uh, they even... See, the opening of the mouth is so, like... I never understood quite how that mouth is supposed to work. But they pull it off here and make it look great. Um, so, of course, he's got the usual amazing posing. And uh, his swappable tail part lets you recreate that big suck moment. The big suck. So there he is, the big suck. Very cool. Uh, so, yeah. And then that's all the androids here in a line. So... Get collecting, find some androids. But they look really cool. I really like them. I really like what they're doing here. It's probably the coolest uh, thing that I've seen them do in a while. Um, so the next story is one that I am super excited to talk about. And uh, it's coming in lieu of DBS Chronicles. He's pretty good for giving uh, fans a good source of news. Uh, straight out of Japan. Uh, just using numbers that are already out there. I definitely recommend following him on Twitter. Or, or her. I don't know their gender at this moment. Uh, but anyways. Uh, the this volume 18 sales of DBS were at 184,305. That's through the time span of April 4th to April 24th. Uh, and it sold 13,984 copies in week 3. So keep that number in mind. 184,305. If we look at the DBS sales right here, you can see that's pretty consistent with what it's been selling uh, pretty close. Uh, 17 sold uh, around that same number as well. Uh, obviously, uh, it was at its peak during Volume 5, and, you know, these numbers are decent, right? The Granola the Survivor arc has been doing well, but the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc, the Mora Saga, was pretty good. Uh, Tournament of Power was a really big... Um, uh, sales feature over 250,000 copies sold at the beginning of the tournament of power uh, compared to the 185,000 now but that's still really good and then you can look at just to, for comparison's sake look at the Boruto sales yeah yeah um, it hit really big highs we'll admit with volume 1 it hit really big highs but the drop-off is what you want to pay attention to. So this isn't a knock against Boruto, but just for comparison's sake, DBS is doing fine. So if you're one of these people that are worried about DBS, don't be. It's fine. It's all good and dandy. It's all fine. Uh, another little article from DBS Chronicles just to let us know what's going on. Uh, we can see here... Uh, a Toei employee downloaded an app from a third-party website, and the virus came along with it and encrypted the company's PCs and servers. Uh, they say you guys need to be careful, too. Don't download apps. Yeah, do not download apps from third-party sites. So, previously, it was speculated about this, uh, rumored, and it has been confirmed uh, with this press release here. Uh, so, you can look in the English version, but it just pretty much goes over what they were saying. Um... As of today, the company's regular operations and anime productions are more or less functioning normally. Um, so yeah, they pretty much just let you know here. They say, uh, let's zoom in here. So we got DBS Chronicles summary of what happened, but what Toei says here is, A company employee downloaded a software required for business from an external website, which had been tampered with so as to simultaneously download a software program that would serve as the entry point for ransomware infiltration. Gradually, on March 6, the company confirmed the unauthorized access to its network by a third party. Uh, when the above-mentioned unauthorized access into its network was confirmed, the company took various measures, including immediately shutting down portions of its internal system and restricting access from outside, concerned authorities, but also has been carrying out appropriate and necessary responses and investigations by involving external security specialists. As of today, following the impl implement implementation of security measures, all internal systems of the company are more or less normalized. Uh, so, of course, things were halted uh, for about a month for a lot of their anime production. Uh, the, inf the investigation by the external security specialist has not confirmed any information leakage, leakage, including that of personal information. The company has also not received any report on damages to customers. 
And then, of course, they're taking measures to prevent this from happening again, obviously. Uh, but this was a huge, th huge, uh, huge thing. Um, so they pretty much just came out and said, yeah, there was a hack. Uh, so previously, I reported it as a rumor, because uh, it was a rumor at the time, I believe. Uh, but it was pretty much confirmed as fact. Uh, so yeah, freaking huge uh, bit of news there. Absolutely um, mind-blowing. So we're still getting it in June, but yeah, that's crazy. If, if if they weren't suckers and didn't hack it, we would have gotten a lot sooner. Alright, so these next bits of news are going to be coming in from DBS Chronicles once again. Uh, and they are sourcing another person who happened to snap these photos. And uh, this would be... I want to get his at right. Uh, G-U-E-R-N-I-C-A-S-S-4. Uh, so go ahead and follow him on Twitter. He uh, snapped these photos, and DBS Chronicles pretty much uh, re-uploaded them as he should, uh, as the source for the Force of Dragon Ball. Uh, so here we go. Looking at these pictures, they look really good. Uh, so these are pretty much the renders of Goten, Gotenks, Krillin, and Shinron. So let's go ahead and look at them here. So you can see Goten a little better here. I thought his sleeves might have gone all the way down, but it looks like he wears them about a little below his um, elbow, uh, which is fine. I really like it. Of course, if you know my banner on YouTube has Trunks and Goten. So I'm a really big fan of this look for Goten. And of course, his hair is very close to how it looks during uh, the end of Z arc. So they are paying attention to that canon, and he will have that hair. It's kind of like... It's kind of like, uh, obviously you can see the roots of his Goku-styled hair, but moving into a more End of Z-styled Goten outfit looks quite on point. Very traditional outfit as all, uh, as, um, I don't, he didn't have a traditional outfit in GT, but it's like Chi-Chi traditional, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it seems like their family tries to go more traditional. Then, of course, we have Gotenks. Uh, so a lot of people were pointing out that he's got purple hair instead of blue hair, even though Trunks now has blue hair. Uh, I don't know. I'm just rolling with it. So, I don't know if this is to imply that we're only going to see fat go tanks or if we're going to get regular go tanks. I wouldn't be surprised if we only get fat go tanks as a joke, but there he is, fat go tanks. Uh, Krillin looks good. He's in his police officer uniform. Uh, pretty similar to his Resurrection F Saga police officer uniform. I don't think there's anything really new here. It's just, you know, Krillin in a different render from what we've seen previously. And then Shenron. So this does confirm that we should be seeing Shenron in the superhero movie. Uh, so here he is. Anyways, that's about all the news for this week. I really haven't uh, had any... We, we really haven't gotten any news this week. It's been a light week. I was actually considering not making a video this week, but I wanted to anyways. So this has been Dragon Discourse for uh, the week of what day is it? 4.30, 2022. Um, this will probably go up tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. But guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you have something to say, comment down below. If you feel like it, subscribe. And yeah, we are a couple months out from Superhero. Who's excited? I definitely am. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace off.